Are you trying to implement a text classification model using a convolutional neural network in PyTorch? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we will explore how to effectively use Conv1D for text input. I totally understand how confusing it can be when you see examples using Conv2D for text data. Many people wonder if Conv1D is even possible for this type of input. You're definitely not alone in this. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, how can I apply Conv1D for text classification in PyTorch? They provided a model scenario with one input channel, 128 output channels, a kernel size of three, and a batch size of 16. Sound familiar? Let's break this down. So, what does this mean for your model? With Conv1D, you can indeed process text data effectively. The key is to reshape your input tensors correctly to match the expected dimensions. And stick around. At the end of this video, I will share a pro tip that will help you optimize your model even further. To implement a one-dimensional convolutional neural network for text classification in PyTorch, the user should start by defining the convo layer. This layer will take the input tensor and apply the convolution operation. Next, the user needs to prepare the input tensor. The input should have the shape of batch size, number of input channels, and the length of the sentence. In this case, the user has a batch size of 16 and a sentence length of 28. Now the user can apply the Conv1D layer to the input tensor. This will produce an output tensor that contains the feature maps generated by the convolution operation. Finally, the user should ensure that they understand how to handle the output. The output tensor can be passed through additional layers for further processing, such as activation functions or pooling layers. Fun fact, the concept of convolutional networks was inspired by the way our brains process visual information. Who knew that our brains and computers could have something in common? Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative approach suggests that while the current input tensor is suitable for Conv2D, you can use Conv1D by reshaping your data. Specifically, you can concatenate the embeddings into a tensor with the shape of 16, 1, and 28 times 300. This allows you to reshape the input using the view function in PyTorch. Here's that pro tip I promised. Always experiment with different kernel sizes and number of filters to find the best configuration for your specific text classification task. And there you have it. You now know how to implement Conv1D for text classification in PyTorch. Remember, experimentation is key to success. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.